you can test for thousands of things in a drinking water. It doesn't necessarily mean it's safe. And conversely, you can test for a much smaller number of parameters. It doesn't mean it's uh, not safe. There's other aspects to ensuring safe drinking water. For example, maintenance of the systems that produce the water and treat the water and, and uh, distribute the water are just as important as testing itself. Well, EPCOR maintains the, uh, the system from our, in our intakes, right, from drawing the water into the plant. And this is the raw sale plant, so you see the facilities around you. So that's our, that's our domain. We also maintain the, um, the drinking water pipes underneath the streets in the city which provide water up to people's properties. And so another part of maintaining that sort of last mile, if you will, to the tap, because that's where we really worry about water qualities, is at the tap where we ingest it. So it's also important for homeowners, business owners, building managers to maintain their plumbing systems as well and to make sure they're up to code, uh, make sure that any plumbing work is done by certified plumbers who know that what they're doing. Um, and to make sure that, you know, if they've been away from their home for a long time or been out of the building for a long time, run, run a little bit of water through your pipes and flush out the water that's been sitting in your pipes for a while. We can provide beautiful water coming out of the plant and great water in the distribution system, but water is not like wine. It, it doesn't get better as it ages. <laughs> we test for uh, about almost 400 different parameters, but we test for a number of other things over, over and above the guidelines, but particularly We've got a suite of testing around pharmaceuticals and personal care products and pesticides and herbicides that we do on a quarterly basis in our raw, in our raw water in the river and our treated water. You know, one thing we, you need to look at is your raw water source. Where does your water come from? It's the North Saskatchewan River and there's, uh, there is the urban part of the, the river. Uh, there's the upstream of, of the urban part of the river. There's some, a few other smaller municipalities that discharge into the river. There's also quite a lot of agriculture and, and uh, forestry and other activities. On it's, a, it's a busy river and plus there's some natural things. So you know we, you want to tailor your testing program towards your source water. So what we might do here might be very different from somebody who has a groundwater in British Columbia. <laughs>